Red Classic is finally here and you probably want to set up a nice interface and wonder what add-ons you should get. I'll tell you about around 30 great add-ons, some essential, some quality of life improvements and some just for fun or convenience or looks. So let's get over all of them and explain what they do. First, you should probably get something to replace those really old and ugly unit frames. I like shadowed unit frames, it's highly customizable and the hardest thing in my UI to set up, but luckily, you can just import my profile if you want it to look just like mine. It replaces everything including targets and party frames and dried frames and I think it looks great. Next up you will need Questy since Blizzard didn't want to implement the in-game quest helper at release for some reason, so it will help you keep track of quests, where to accept them, where to do them and where to turn them in. And speaking of turning them in, you noticed how if you talk to an NPC you have a quest with, but you didn't complete it, it still shows up as yellow. Quest icon desaturation turns it grey if you don't have the quest completed yet. Details is essential for dungeons and raids so you know who deals the least damage or healing and who to blame. It keeps track of the DPS and healing as well as many other stats that you can keep track of. You can toggle it off and on, I have a macro slash details toggle and it's overall really useful for raiding and dungeons. Get something for the bars so you can move them easier. I like dominoes, it's simple to use and customize. I like having three bars in the middle, two hidden on the right that show up when I mouse over them and the bags and menu and pet bar hidden there as well. It also makes it easier for key bindings, just type slash KB in chat and hover over the buttons you want to set up. And I also use mask for button skins for the bar buttons. For the bags, get bag none and bag brother so you don't sit with 15 different bags and don't know where to find anything. You can clean it, search for items in it and if you have bag brother too you can also check the inventory of your alts or what you have in the bank. Really useful add-on. KUI nameplates is what I use for the nameplates. They look nice, it's easier to keep track of dots and you can use it for enemies and allies as well and it just looks great overall. Leatrix Plus has a lot of quality of life features you can toggle off and on, auto selling trash for example or auto repairing or automated quests or you can disable the death effect of glow and a lot more other little minor changes that can improve your gameplay. Leatrix Maps makes the map better and more customizable, shows coordinates and raid and dungeon entrances as well as flight points or mailboxes and also reveals the map if you haven't explored it yet if you wanted to. Pawn tells you by how much of an upgrade an item would be for you, great for quests too to see directly what to pick or what to sell for the most gold. Sexy minimap changes the default map with a cooler looking one, you can customize it a lot, it has a ton of skins and you can move around everything around it too. Atlas loot and atlas maps are very good to have. Like the dungeon journal in retail, you can see the bosses, what they drop and the maps for every dungeon and raid on every difficulty as well as their models. Auctionator helps you with the auction house of course, making it easier to buy or sell items, just place an item there and it will automatically give you the best price to sell faster. DBM is good to have for dungeons and raids so you can keep track of the one mechanic most bosses have or see how fast and how many times you killed each boss. What's training shows you the spells they will be able to learn when you level up without having to be at a trainer. Item rack is similar to the sets from retail, you can select a set and save it, so you can equip it all with just one click if you have multiple sets like PvP or PvE, or you just have a cool looking set you want to keep around in town to replace transmog. Chatter makes the chat bar nicer and smaller, it removes all the extra buttons if you don't need them and it has more customization options like showing the class names of players. Deja character stats classic improves the stat frames and makes them bigger, it has a lot of options too, 
you can even display the item level of items, durability, repair costs and so on and you can toggle all of those off and on and it's bigger there on the right so you can see it clearer and more detailed. Gladi is good for arenas, like Gladius in retail, keeps track of the trinkets and buffs and cooldowns and shows you the enemy team at a glance. Gnosis cast bars replaces the small default cast bars with more customizable and bigger ones. Better vendor prices shows you the vendor prices, of course, of every item even if you are not at a vendor, including quest item rewards. Kill track is a nice little add-on that shows you how many times you killed each mob. It has a list and you can toggle on and off if you also want to show it in the tooltip of the enemy. Mix scrolling battle text replaces the default damage numbers with detailed ones that show you the icon and how much damage each ability deals if you want to know better how much all of your abilities are hitting for without having to guess where the damage is coming from and how much you're doing with everything. Tom Tom is for waypoints, you write coordinates in chat and it shows you the waypoint of how to get there, a dot on the map and how long it would take you to reach the destination. Titan Panel Classic gives you a bar on the top, it has a ton of indicators that you can turn on like gold or the clock or durability or gold per hour and so on, but I just like to keep it small and transparent and just track the XP per hour and time until leveling up. Rare Scanner shows you if there are any rares that spawn close to you and gives you an alert and it shows you where they spawn on the map too and all of their spawn point locations. All the things classic keeps track of everything you completed and earned in the game if you want to go for a completionism route here too, like in retail, and it also tells you what mobs drop or what quests or achievements are related to them or to any NPC you mouse over, as well as showing you where items come from if you hover over them in the tooltip. Immersion is a nice little add-on that changes how you interact with NPCs and quest givers in a more immersive way. And Aurora gives cleaner menus and interface panels as well as chat boxes and tooltips and it just got updated to work recently. And that's about it, pretty much everything you would need to make your experience better in Classic if you want to go for a more modern approach. Or if not you can just go add-on less but that's gonna take you a lot more time to level. And you can find all those add-ons on the CurseForge and import my settings for the unit frames since those will take you the most time to set up if you want to have them like mine. Let me know if you didn't know about any of those add-ons and which one is your favorite or if you have other add-on suggestions for people to use. Thanks for watching and have fun leveling in Classic.